welcome back to another oh of course something is in my eye because i started recording why wouldn't there this happened every stream too i swear there's like a miniature person that throws something like a mini walnut in my eye <laughs> that visual hello and welcome back to another series i hope you're all having a fantastic day and if you're not i hope this video helps you feel better or this series because i'm actually going to release an entire mail time playthrough on this channel. This game looks really cute and I'm so upset I haven't had time to play it yet so I'm really excited to jump in. This was actually something you guys also voted to see on this channel. It was the second most voted for thing on a poll I put up a couple weeks ago and I'm sorry it took so long to get to it. There was some like emergency stuff but that I had to deal with in my personal life but everything's okay now. Everyone's okay and now we have time to play some games and we're gonna play some games, let me tell you. Also, do you like my new look? She's looking good, it's looking different. I put some darker glasses on, I got a red, a dark, well not dark red, but some dark lipstick, I got some. Let me know what you think about my new little look and if you have any suggestions for other looks, okay? If you have like a lip color you wanna see, if you have, let me know down below, I might try it out. Okay, I like, what did I do last time? I think for the demo, like I had a look already. Because I did play the demo for this game. It was super cute. Definitely, well, I mean, the game's out now. I definitely recommend checking out the game. But the demo was super cute and sold me on the game. I think it was this little, this cute one. Okay. And I do like the pink. I do like the pink. I'm not sure, like, what kind of pink it was, though, that I had. Oh, the green is really cute, too, though. The green's kind of slaying. I kind of like that. I actually kind of like the green. Okay. Um... Okay, we got my mail time person. I'm so excited. Looking so cute. Honestly, I wish I could pull that look off in real life. That'd be so nice. Like, imagine if I look like that right now. That'd be so cute. Are we there yet? No. How about now? No. Oh no, am I in the way? Oh my goodness, I am in the way. We're gonna have to figure out how to get me out of the way. What about, stop. Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? promise all right now don't get too excited but today is your first solo delivery what yes my ears oh oh sorry right so i'd be really excited too i'd be really excited too not gonna lie okay so I think my plan is to put my camera wherever is the least invasive and I'm thinking because I'd like you guys to see all of the characters that we meet along the way, I'm probably gonna put my camera in front of where my um, scout is. Um, so I think I'm usually, I don't know, she's on this side now, but we'll see where she ends up being. And then I will keep myself on that side. So fortunately you won't see her, but I mean, you see her right now. So if you see my camera move in the next couple minutes, it's because I figured it out, okay? <laughs> it's because I figured it out. Okay, so you've got it, right? Yep. Wait, no. One more time? Listen closely this time then. You, you, Tatiana, me, Tatiana, need to deliver that letter in your backpack to a someone named Greg. Deliver letter to Greg. Since it's your first day on the job, first but not le le first but not least, right, yes. You probably know a bit about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet. I mean, ma'am. I'm top of my class at Male Academy. Or, well, in I'm in the top ten. Ish. But I'm ready to learn. Well, it's one thing to learn from the books, and another thing to learn in real life. Male Scout Official Handbook, page 12. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about it, the interrupting thing? Not to do it? Yes, please try. Before you're ready to deliver your letter to Greg, we should do a practice run. See that turtle over there? I want you to give them this note from me. You might just get something special for it. In case you forget how your legs work, you can use L to walk around. Aye, aye, Captain Jan, be right back. I literally love the writing of this like whole game and story. It's so cute. Okay, so when we talk to the turtle, I'll know which side my scout is probably always gonna be on and then I will move on that side. Just so you guys get a heads up. I am about to do a little, okay. So I am on the right side. I feel like this is the side my scout is. So I'll stay on this side for now, but if something changes, I'll go to the other side. Hi, hi, are you here for an autograph? 
Oh, I do I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh, no. I meant, do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Oh, what for? I'm a track star in training for my next race. Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is Shelby? Then this letter's for you. Oh, fan mail? Of sorts? Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretending that you're reading it. <laughs> Just pretend that you're reading it. It's her first delivery. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. In that case, I accept this letter. It was delivered to me following mail scout protocol. <laughs> Shelby's a real one. Shelby's a real one. I am ecstatic that the d service I have at... I am ecstatic with the service I have received. Five stars. No, wait. Four and a half stars. Oh, why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. <laughs> oh, sorry. By the by, do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. Maybe Egbert knows? He's clever. Squ He's a clever squirrel man. Can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. Peace out, little scout. <gasps> Shelby's waving at me. That was literally so cute. Okay. Chief Janet, I'm back. Visibly. <laughs> And I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. I'm sure Shel I'm sure you heard it, Janet. It was quite loud. Huh? How did you hear that? Wasn't easy to miss. <laughs> Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. Ooh, congrats. You've earned stamped and signed patch. Ooh, sound sealed and delivered. <gasps> Yippee! So us Scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something noteworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch, you get a little bit closer to being a real mail scout. And you get a little bit better at mail delivery. For example, you might have noticed that you can jump by pressing A. Well, by holding A, you can glide as well. <gasps> yes! That's amazing! I'm literally never going to touch the ground ever again. Well, uh, sure. Why not dream big? Anyways... When you deliver that letter to Greg, you'll get your official male scout patch. You'll be a full male scout for real. I can't wait. Good luck, Tatiana. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mom. I mean, uh, Miss, Miss Mail. I mean, Janet. Bye. <laughs> oh, don't forget. You can press Y to check your deliveries and patches in your handbook. <gasps> we have our handbook. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Oh, I see. There's our patch. Oh, there's a bunch of patches. Oh, it tells you how... It's counting how long it's taking us to deliver this letter. I don't know where Greg is. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Okay, Shelby still looks like... Shelby needs to talk to us. Let's talk to Shelby. Oh, it's you again. The scout that didn't want an autograph. Well, I'll show you when I win the running championship. In six weeks, my autograph will be worth thousands, mark my words. Do tortoises usually win races? No, tortoises are super slow. Everyone knows that. But don't worry about that. Because I learn... Because I lean... Oh, because this lean, mean running machine is 100% bonafide turtle. At least, that's what my dad said. Oh, well, in that case, does this turtle often win races? Uh, no, not yet. I've been really, I've really been pushing myself, but I don't think I'm going to get good enough in time for the race. Daisy, the hare always wins. And even though we're best friends, I don't know. I guess I don't want her to think I'm struggling. But Socks always get second, so they must know something. There's just got to be some kind of trick to, to running that I haven't figured out yet. Here, could you take this letter to Socks? It's a fake note, just a friendly checking up on the competition. But really, you'll interrogate them and get all the trade secrets. Oh, okay, I can do that. Sounds like a plan. Bit of a harebrained scheme, more like. 
Speaking of hairs, why don't you just ask Daisy for advice? Uh, maybe later. For now, here's the letter to Socks. <laughs> Come back when you have all the secrets a runner could ever need. Okay. It's so cute in here. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Okay. Where is what's, oh. Who's that person up there? Okay, okay. You can jump pretty high. Oh, snowdrop. I thought maybe it was hair. Psst. What? Uh, uh, oh, hello? What's going on? You have to whisper. I'm afraid mom will find out what happened. Your mom? Her name is Daisy. Oh, that's who we're looking for. She's not close by? Even with big ears, she won't be able to hear you? Okay, if you say so. Well, I have a bit of a problem. I love the stars. <laughs> they make me feel so excited. All these characters are so cute. Did you know that stars are really far away? But with a telescope, you can see them as, far as if they're very close. Isn't that cool? For sure, it's like you're right next to the stars. But that doesn't sound like a problem, really. Well, I was looking through a telescope at the stars. There was a meteor. <laughs> there was a meteor I was trying to see. Oh, meteors are like stars that are flying. Did you know that? No, that's so cool. As I was trying to find the meteor, I was swinging the telescope around a bit. Turns out I was swinging it a bit too much. Before I knew it, the telescope was broken. And now the stars are far away again. Can you help me fix it? Not a problem. It looks like the lens is broken. It's the bit of thick glass inside the telescope. Oh, I know what part you mean. So the lens from a pair of glasses would work? That could work great. Okay, well, I did see some around, but I don't really remember where. It was either near Kiki or Donna. Okay, we gotta remember, you, you write that down, Kiki or Donna. We gotta ask them, or well, we gotta look around between them, between those two, two people. Don't worry, Snowdrop, I'll figure it out. Thanks, Tatiana. And please don't tell my mom. Wouldn't dream of it. Scout's honor. <laughs> Mill Scout's honor, we would not, we would not do that. Okay, now we gotta look for one of these people. Oh, there's a well? This looks so different. This is also super different from the map that like the demo had. The, the demo map I think was actually like completely different. I don't even think it's in the same area as this. Is that someone? What is that? Oh, this is Donna. Hello, what are you doing here? Hi, I'm delivering mail. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, my name's Donna. What's your name? Tatiana. It's great meeting you, Tatiana. What are you up to, Scout? I'm working on this big delivery. For someone named Greg, do you know him? Ah, no, sorry. I'm pretty new to the area. No worries, thanks anyways. Donna. Oh my gosh, is that the glasses? We're so good at this game right now. Okay, I kind of want to go give this back to Snowdrop. Okay, not me forgetting the name. <laughs> I think it was Snowdrop. We got to go give it back. Okay, and then we have to find Egbert for... No, we were supposed to ask Egbert about Greg because Greg prob er, Egbert probably knows about Greg. That's what Shelby said. And we are also trying to find socks. Check it out, Snowdrop. Do you think this lens would fit? That looks perfect. Oh my gosh, the telescope works again. Thank you so, so, so much. I have to go get sleep right now. Huh? Why? It's daytime, which means the stars are sleeping. If I sleep now, I'll be wide awake later when the stars are awake too. Facts and logic only. Facts and logic only here. Oh, one more thing. Here's a drawing I made as a thank you. I hope you like it. Oh, Snowdrop, that's so cute. Woo! Woo! I like that it says woo. You guys better be wooing too. Woo! We better all be wooing. Okay, woo for the drawing. <laughs> I hope you like it. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Snowdrop. <laughs> Snowdrop is snoring. Snowdrop? She fell asleep standing up. Okay, Snowdrop's wild. Also, I'm sorry, doesn't that look like the Arthur meme? The arm? <laughs> It's just the it's the sweater. It's the sweater, truly. Talent. 
Sleep tight, Snowdrop. The stars will be happy to see you again tonight. That was so cute. Also, Snowdrop can sleep standing up. I need that. I need that. We got another patch. Next day delivery patch. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to get up here so I can see better. Okay. We need to go somewhere. <laughs> oh, what's that up there? Something's up there. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and fly. Maybe we'll go on the other path. We got to find Egbert and we got to find Daisy. So drops mom. I think Daisy was the one that was racing. And then we also have to find socks. Maybe Egbert knows where socks is or Greg. Ultimately, we're trying to find Greg. <laughs> will we find Greg? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows we'll ever find Greg? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, is this Kiki? What is this? Sorry, Kiki. I'm grabbing it. I don't know what it is, but I bet I'll need it. Mail Scout, come here. I need you to send a letter for me. Oh? What you sending? A cease and desist. <laughs> okay. To a child that crossed me. <laughs> hey, I know some of y'all would send a cease and desist to a child that crossed you. I see you. I know you would. Don't say you wouldn't. <laughs> that seems a bit overkill. I'll have you know, this child robbed me in broad daylight. I was walking with my coin collection. The bag was open. I was letting the coins breathe the fresh air, as one does. Then I was interrupted by the vermin child. I think the name was Cedar. She saw the glinting of light and was fascinated by my coins. But I only had so long to walk before I had to get back to my business. And the landlord business, you see. Ah, the landlord. Truly time consuming. Anyway, <laughs> I must say, seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast, it was nice. It's not a popular hobby around here. I generously offered that Cedar admire, admired my coins for one hour only and bring them back immediately. Well, Scout, it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty. Now I must resort to stronger measures or else this child will walk all over me. Nobody messes with Kiki. Don't you think this is disproportionate? Cedar is only a minute late. If you were paid to ask questions, wouldn't you be called a question scout? <laughs> oh, Kiki's got the fire. Well, I mean, oh, but you aren't a question scout. You're a male scout. And I have mail for Cedar. So why don't you run along and deliver it? Fine. Glad we agree. Kiki's got some fire. I... <laughs> Kiki's got some fire. Okay, let's find Cedar. Let's also find Egbert. Which way do we go? We'll go this way? Hello? Oh, it's a neighborhood. Maybe oh! <gasps> it's Egbert! Okay, we'll talk to the other person over there, but we gotta talk to Egbert. Hello! I like how they wave. It's so cute. <sighs> Can't believe kids these days. Oh, the kids in this area are ramp running rampant. What's going on? <laughs> they are truly in control of this neighborhood. Oh! Didn't see you there? You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I'm right in front of you. Maybe you need glasses. Wait, isn't Egbert wearing glasses? Never mind. <laughs> Egbert's already wearing glasses. Well, let's have a look then. Who's this? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Maybe I really do need new glasses. Beg your pardon. Who are you? Oh, no worries, sir. I'm new round this stretch of the wood. I'm a male scout. Here on official male scout business. Tatiana, nice to meet you. Egbert, likewise. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, see ya. Unless, unless what? Unless you'd be willing to help an old man out. <laughs> I look so scared. Like a little side quest. See, see it as a way to gain experience. Well, our number one rule is to serve the community. Actually, it might be rule 38. Anywho, what's the sitch? Sitch? Situation? You youngsters and your slang. <laughs> well, my upstairs neighbor is getting on my nerves. 
seems to be in the nature of upstairs neighbors. <laughs> they blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours, like 8 p.m. Wow, that's late. 8 p.m.? Oh, what a rebel. And the noise is driving me insane. I'd go up there and speak some sense into them myself, but my knees just aren't what they used to be. So, if you'd be so kind, could you hand them this formal letter of complaint? Sure thing, Gramps. Uh, thank you for your trouble. Oh, icebreaker patch. Let's go! Woo! -hoo! You better be wooing. Woo! We got another patch. We got a woo. It says to woo. What are you gonna do? Just not do the prompt? It says woo. <laughs> So woo. <laughs> okay, we gotta get up. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that is, but we got it. Can I get up any higher from here? Mm, there's a bridge. So oh, I see. Maybe this rock is probably a better one over here. We'll talk to that other. Oh, there's another person over there too. There's people everywhere. <gasps> ah! I almost fell. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is above Egbert's house, so this is the upstairs neighbor. Hello? Hello, turn the music down. No partying past 8 p.m. here. Okay. Can I jump on that? I feel like I'm not gonna risk it, I'll fall. <laughs> I was gonna jump, but I know I'm gonna fall. There's no way I was gonna make it, no way. Oh, is this the neighbor? Clarence, kudos, kid, that was epic. Thanks. Wait, what? Getting up here without, you know, Wings. Wings must be hella convenient. <laughs> Getting any gettings anywhere is a breeze. Or should I say on the breeze? <laughs> You're funny, amigo. You're one of the male scouts, aren't you? Reporting for duty. So what's the sitch? That's what I said. Huh? When? Oh wait. I remember. Never mind, I don't. <laughs> that didn't happen here. Well, I was talking to Egbert, and I said, what's the sitch? I can't imagine the look on his face. Must have had Graham straight flabbergasted. Yeah, can't say he understood. He told me to hand you this. Blah, 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 noise, music, blah, blah, third strike, warn, official warning. Oh, those sure are a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. There's music in my soul, and I just gotta let it out. You feel me? Not that... <laughs> no. That would be unprofessional. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the music thing. Well, I do also enjoy my tunes from time to time. Same, pal. But I can't help that my song isn't nice and chill. I'm just not like other birds. <laughs> not like other birds. <laughs> just goofing. Other birds are chill. Even Kaz. Ooh, another person. Who? Don't worry about it. Oh. Don't even worry about Kaz for now, but write that down and remember, because we need to meet that person. We have to meet everybody to find Greg. You'll run into him if you're cool enough. So, oh, I wonder if I have to do a, a specific quest line and, like, solve it to find Kaz. That Actually, write that down. That's really, I want to meet Kaz. I'm interested. That's interesting to me. So, what about Egbert's letter? Oh, just tell him, like, whatevs. Sadly, I can't deliver spoken word. Even something as moving as that. Well, um... Will this do? This is this is a used napkin with crayon writing on it. And most importantly, a stamp. Well, I guess it qualifies as a letter according to the Male Scout Handbook. I'll be on my way to Egbert. Hold up a sec, little buddy. Pro tip from the Claire Meister. Hold A to glide down on the breeze. Nice and chill. Thanks, I'll give it a whirl. Huh. Woohoo! You think there's anywhere else up here I need to go? Probably. We're probably gonna have to get back up there. Probably should have paid more attention. Okay, Egbert. You're not you may not like this. Got a response from Clarence for you. They sent you this. Postage, stamp, and all. Whatevs? Well, I never. <laughs> I can't believe that scoundrel. If they won't listen, I will have to escalate this situation. I really hoped I wouldn't have to do this. For their own and my for their and my own sake, I must file a formal complaint to our landlord. Oh, Kiki is not gonna want to deal with this. Wow, that's quite a drastic move, my guy. I I mean, are you sure, my good client, patron, uh, sir? 
I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but it must be done. Well, anyway, can you take this to Kiki? You already had, you already had it filled out? <laughs> Egbert came ready, locked and loaded, ready to go. Well, yeah, they weren't going to listen anyway. Could have saved me a trip up that tree. But it wasn't a great learning, <laughs> but wasn't it a great learning experience? Ah, Egbert, we all have an Egbert in our life. And what will I learn from you talking to your landlord? Bureaucracy? Surely there's one of those patches for that. Um, don't fuss about it. With all this experience, you're sure to earn some kind of patch. I'd better. Okay. Okay, we're literally gonna come back and talk to you. I have to find Kiki. We will talk to that person, I promise. And the person up on the rock. Oh. This is right by- Oh, what's that? I thought this was a shortcut to Kiki. Because I remember it being there. Oh! Adventurer patch. Woo! Let's go! You better be wooing. I'm dead serious. I better not be by myself. You know how awkward it would be? Even though I can't tell if you're wooing or not. I can feel it. Okay. That tree almost took me out. Did you see that? Okay. Kiki, I have big news for you. Hi! Scram, kid. I'm busy. Unless you've got something for me, don't bother me. You've got mail! Correspondence from your loyal tenant, Egbert. I hope I'm saying that name right. Also, who? Squirrely looking feller? Um, he requires your aid in settling a pressing interpersonal dispute. What? It's a formal noise complaint against Clarence. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead and file it with the rest of the complaints. <laughs> yeah, we ain't doing nothing about that. It's kind of important. Why? Um, shouldn't you be invested in the well-being of your tenants? Kid, I'm invested in my investments. Oh, Kiki, slay. <laughs> Property, capital, wealth. As long as they pay their rent, I could care less. Isn't it couldn't care less? Hey, could care less suggests you could care at least a bit. You're running me round in circles. Go run in circles elsewhere. You want a letter to deliver? Oh, Kiki got an idea. It was like, ah. You want a letter to deliver? Here, it's for Egbert. Scurry along, shoot. Huh. Wow, we got some spicy people in here. Bureaucat patch, it is. We got a patch for it, that's so funny. Hey, at least it's worth our time. We got the patch. We got the patch. I have a response that you're also probably maybe not gonna like. I'm actually don't know what it, what do you think it's gonna say? I'm actually really curious as to how Kiki is gonna deal with this. That cat's going to get what's coming to him sooner or later. Please don't fight my landlord. How do you respond? Something about how he's a big capitalist egghead. And he, oh, and he gave me this letter. Oh. Your complaint has been noted. We're looking into it. Until further notice. <laughs> He didn't read the letter, did he? No, I don't think so. Oh, unbelievable. You know, back in my day, we had manners. <laughs> did you? Me? Well, no. I was quite the impressive <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Oh, dear heavens, Annie, I, I just remembered. Oh, Annie? Our anniversary is today. Oh, you better go. I got so caught up in all of this that I let it slip again. It's hard to think straight with all that noise. Could you please take this note to Annie for me? She's over at the farm with Daisy. A farm? Did we see a farm? Sure. And please don't let her know about all this. No problem. Be back in a jiffy. Where's the farm? Have you all seen a farm? I, I feel like I've seen a well. What's over here? Oh, look, it's that- Oh, it's the cool bat character from the demo. Okay. There is- Do you see a farm? Maybe over there? Off in, off in the distance? Okay. We have a lot to look. This is places- This map is huge. Okay. Let's talk to this person over here. And we're still looking for the person with Kiki's coins, right? Hello. What are you doing out here? Just delivering some mail. Sounds fun. What are you doing? I'm watching over my turnips. I'm hoping to win this year's Harvest Festival in the smallest turnip category. Wow, these are tiny. Thanks. I mean, yeah, one of them is actually kind of small. 
I mean, if we're, look how small we are, that is small. That's a small turnip. Okay, what's around this bend? Another person. Oh yeah, there's a person on a rock. Okay, over there. We'll talk to this person. Oh, it's the person with the coins, Cedar. Cedar? Yes? Oh, I mean, depends. Who are you? I'm Tatiana, the male scout in training. What was that last part? Nothing, nothing. Unfortunately, I have a not so nice letter for you from Kiki. Oh, crumbs. Kiki's gonna make a lucky rabbit foot charm out of me. I just know it. Oh, is, wait, isn't this a child? That is traumatic for you to be feeling that way. Why? If you give him his coin collection back, I'm sure this will all blow over. That's just the thing. I lost all the coins. I'm beginning to see the problem. I met Kiki while he was walking by here. As soon as I got my paws on the collection, I hopped off searching for a great spot to admire it. But I didn't realize the bag was still open. Now all the coins are lost and I have no clue where they are. I feel like we've actually picked up a few of those. I, we've picked up a couple little coin looking things, so I actually think we might have some. Can you please help me? I'm afraid of what Kiki will do if I show up without them. Fret not, little bun. I'll get those coins back. Oh, thank you so much. There were four coins in the collection. How many have we picked up? Have you guys... Please come back when you've found all of them. Or found them all. Okay, can we check in here how many we have? Ah, collectible earth coin for cedar. For cedar. Okay, we have two. We have two of the four. Can't be that bad. What if it's in here? Is this where cedar lives? Okay. We gotta be on the lookout for the coins. I bet they're up high. A lot of- Oh, there's one up there, actually. I just saw it. Right beside this person, so it works out. Oh. Hi. Irene, what do you want? I'm a little busy right now. Come back later. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna grab this. Okay, we have three out of four. Do you see another one? Can we see another coin up here? Maybe it's up, up, up hot. <gasps> Something sparkling up there. Do you see that? I don't know if that's a coin, but we gotta go check it out. Let's see if we can get up into the upper area. Let's go up here. Is that a coin? It looks like it. Okay, I think we actually just found them all. I don't know what else is up in that tree, but... Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it's a bottle cap. Okay, no. We're still gonna go up, up top. Okay. Even though we just fell down. It's gotta be whatever I saw up there. I don't think Cedar probably went too far, ooh, far from this area, so... I think it's pretty safe that we... Is it here? Get up in this thing... Come on, you can do it. Oh, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. That's fine. We'll jump from here. Okay, where did I see it? Oh, it's right there. What's over there? Is that the... Oh, I just saw socks. See socks over there? Oh my, I have eagle eyes. I have eagle eyes. I can see everything. Is this a coin? Okay, we have all four. Okay, perfect. Cedar's gonna be so happy. No rabbit feet for Cedar. I accidentally didn't redeploy my... <laughs> but I'm okay, because there's no fall damage. Oh, Tatiana, Tatiana, do you have all the coins? Yep, all four. No, hot diggity dog. <laughs> you're amazing, fantastic, stunning, breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. And I will never forget this. Here, I've written an apology note to Kiki. Could you take that and the coins back to him? Maybe now I can still make it out of this alive. Kiki has a hold on, no, you know what? It's actually not the kids in this neighborhood. It is Kiki having a grip on everybody. Turns out you're not only a male scout in training, but also a lucky charm prevention service. <laughs> Seems there's good money in that. It's my first day and I'm already holding a bag of priceless coins. <laughs> oh no, now I'm nervous again. Please bring the note and coins to Kiki, okay? I have, I've got it covered, Cedar. We got this. 
I think it's like right around the corner. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. I'm getting to learn the map. I'm getting to learn it. Okay, Kiki. I have them. My coins. I guess you are at least a little capable. <laughs> Kiki, all this fire from all I've done is help you. And there's a note from Little Cedar, too. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Shoot. This kid clearly respects me. <laughs> Not sure why. And she obviously loves the coins. Aw, oh, darn it. I got I'm gonna do something I said I would never do. Oh, what? Scout this collection, although priceless. None of these coins are really important. <laughs> this one though, this is my favorite coin. The first coin I ever earned, selling apple juice as a kid. As a kid, I was writing my own letters to deliver. I'm sure that made you rich like my apple juice stand made me. Oh well, even though this coin means a lot to me, it shouldn't be gathering dust. It should live on, a new, on in a new collection. Bring this coin to Cedar. Oh, and this letter too. You know, a please wouldn't hurt, but I'll do it for Cedar. Woo! We got another one. Scout of the Day patch. Oh, and Coin Connoisseur patch. Woo! Two woos. Double the woos. Double the woos. Woo! Okay, let's give this to Cedar and make Cedar's day. Now that I know where Sox is, Sox's kind of far, though. I feel like there's a lot of things to do before we even find Sock. And ask about the racing. Oh, we gotta find Anne too at the farm. We have so many people to find. Give it to me straight, Scout. Will I live to see another day? How about you read this and find out for yourself? Oh, nuts. Oh, holy pie in the sky! <laughs> did he- did he really? Yep, he did. Tatiana, I have my first coin! Yippee! What are you gonna name your coin? Are you supposed to name them? I don't know, but it feels right to me. Well then, I'll name this coin Tatiana. <laughs> Cause you saved me from being turned into a lucky charm. Oh, another thing. Here, take this drawing I made. Aww, <laughs> it's a drawing. Woo, we got another thing, let's go. Now you'll have something to remember this by. Now you'll have something to remember this by as well. Thanks, Cedar, that's so kind of you. All the thanks are yours. Now I must direct my full attention to Tatiana. Oh, uh, coin, Tatiana, I mean. I got that. See you later. Aw, we just helping people. We just helping people left and right. Male Scout's not about bringing mail, it's about bringing joy and people together and maybe settling fights a little bit or making them worse, I don't know. I don't know if we helped that fight, but we did something. Well, I think that's everyone in this area. Did you see anyone else up top? I don't think I saw anybody else up top. I don't see anyone else. I think there's no one else that lives up here. Let's try and get to the... Oh, we are not going to make that. We are not going to make it onto this ledge. Yeah, we are not. Okay, let's see if we can just get up here then. Okay. Oh, is there a person in there? I'm sorry, who is this? Wow, a well. I wonder if it echoes. Echo! Echo, echo, echo. Echo, echo, echo. You shouldn't be here. What? <laughs> okay, what? Hiya. Ribbit. Are you a froggy? You can talk, right? Ribbiting is talking. Oops, uh, oops I mean, ribbit. Who are you? Names are irrelevant. Think of me as he who controls the worms. Oh my god. It's a frog co covered in mud. He's been down there too long. The frog, the frog has been down there too long. Ribbit, do you want to hear a secret? Okay, funny well voice. Tell me your very legitimate, totally real secret. Did you know Sock's antenna aren't real? Oh, you had to do socks like that. Oh my gosh. It's a replica glued onto their head. Their real one fell off in a skiing accident. That's some niche knowledge. Yeah, how do you know that? How do you know that? The worms whisper their secrets to me. Ribbit. Cool. Tell the worms I said I said hi. Will do. Nice. Okay, well, bye-bye, boys. Ribbit. We need to find... 
That is suspicious. Does everyone know that there's a frog living in here that might need to see the day? I don't know if he's... <laughs> I don't know if the frog is doing good. Okay. I don't think we can get anywhere from here. I, I missed that jump way up there, so... We'll definitely have to go back there. That's where the truck is, the male scout truck. So I think we've seen everyone in that area. Donna was... Ch yeah, Donna's right there. Okay, I see where we're at. I see where we are at. Should probably head down that little, like, stairway area. So the first little area is kind of complete. Time to head down the wood stair bridge thing and meet some more people. 